Howdy y'all. Thought I would uh, take a look at this waypoint hanger and uh, take a look at its issue of having the, uh, the repair bay a extra block down, which is causing it not to work due to the half block floor. Um, this problem is about the worst I could think about. Literally, it's, uh, I've been looking at this again and again and again, and it's, I'm trying to figure out a solution to fix it. Now, there's several problems going on on why it's so hard to fix. First, the repair bay would have to be at regular block level. So that means that this area here would have to raise. That's not an issue. Um, problem is, is it's not big enough to raise and park a decent sized vehicle ab above here to uh, repair it. So it would need to be extended out further in these directions. But that kind of really throws off the whole thing with where these, uh, the, where these bays are because then I'd have to like it probably extend it out to about here at least. Um, and that just looked dumb and you'd have this weird ramp and everything in front of it. Another uh, way to fix this would be to chop this thing in half and, and bring it out more on each side. Then I run into another, uh, two other problems. One, structural integrity. I had to put in this beam for a reason um, due to the ceiling would uh, collapse and it actually gets very weak around this point here, um, kind of in between all this stuff. And by extending it out, I would have to add in another one of these beams close to the center. Um, that can also be done, but the last and the problem that I really am having a hard time getting around is the class size. I did not want this to be class size 6. I tried hard to make it a class size 5, and uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a high 5. It's, it's <laughs> high 5. Huh? Um, it's at 542. So if I were to chop this in half and extend it and expand this area out, add in more beams, it's absolutely going to be a class six. Um, there's no way I can fix that. Um, I don't think I could eliminate enough to make a difference. Maybe if I took away some detail, took away all the trim here, took away some maybe some extra blocks I didn't need to use for footing, things like that. Any which way, shape I look at it, though, it's this is a real nightmare. Um, now, of course, the easy solution, and it's, it's obvious, is like, hey, raise the floor up. And that's cool, and that, and that would work, um, no doubt. It wouldn't cost any more. It would use the same number of blocks. Um, it's, not, it's not cheaper, but, it, you know, it's, it's, it's about the same. But, yeah, I'm going to lose all the detail all the way around the hangar, all the trim, everything. Everything that I liked about this hangar, which I thought made it look kind of nice, I would have to destroy uh, and start over again and make it look worse in the process. All so you could park a vehicle on the repair bay because it doesn't want to work this way. Um, I don't know what to do. I am uh, banging my head against a wall on this one. I don't really know what I want to do to fix it or how I'm going to fix it. Everything I've uh, looked at and tried has problems. Um, I should, I guess, I should never try to uh, sink the floor, um, even though I thought that was like a huge bonus to detail. But it causes problems with this. Um, oh, out here, I have another one of these hangers I spawn, and I did chop it. And I, I extended it out three blocks on both sides, which would give me enough room to raise this area up. Problem is, is I got to rebuild like this whole chunk of the base, add in more support beams, and redo the sides because that's not going to line up properly anymore either. I'm not sure what to do about this project. Um, really sucks that this happened. And it's troubling, but um, I'm going to try some things anyway and just see how it comes out. But, uh, yeah. I 
Yes, uh, sinking the floor in to get more detail is just not a good idea due to the limitations of the repair bays and their block spacings. I just want to see if this would even be enough room to make it to make it look right here. Gives us a total of nine blocks, I think. Okay, these are a little bit wider than that. Are they? Actually, no. I think it'd be enough room. It's a little tight on the edges. Um, that does kind of throw off this whole uh, crafting area pretty good, though. So I think I have to... Um, here, let's start cutting and pasting some more. It's going to break the switches and the LCDs as well. Whoops. I guess we'll have more room in this area, though. Oh, shoot, I'm screwing up the container storage, too. Uh, well, that's not a big deal. That can be fixed.
Yeah, this problem's been uh, kind of eating at me a little bit. It does suck. mimic what I got going on on the other part a little bit here. There's enough room, I think, now. I mean, it's a little tight. Um, it's not too bad. Just pop a block there, too. Okay. So now the walls. How, um, how is that going to be addressed? Concrete for the, for the shell of this. trying to mimic the pattern here.
nuts and funky blocks on this part. One thing I'm trying to think about is, is there a way I could reduce the class size on this when it's said and done? So I don't, I think I could pull this off and make it work right, but um, to keep this class five, not sure yet. I'm gonna have to cut things, but I'm not sure what would even work to be cut yet. Or just remove some detail.
interior is just about better. Except for, okay, and that's sort of okay. Ass. <laughs> so that whole side doesn't need to be there except for the end. to some block zone. That's what I did want to do. I did have them for a reason over here, though. here there's all kinds of blocks but yet I need to kind of fill this in too uh, let's do it a different way
that does work. Um, so that would be like pretty much all the blocks. I'd have to put in, uh, check out the storage and get some more containers in and texture, of course. But now what I fear is the changes that were made moved it to class six. Um, I expected that to happen. So basically what I could do is try to eliminate some blocks here and there. And uh, now one thing that would probably do it right off the gates is getting rid of these grates. Um, but I hate to do it. It looked nice, I thought. But it is absolutely unnecessary for the function of this. Enough. Not enough. Well, I can get rid of my extra detail trim here. here too. This might save a little bit. Let's pause five. Oops. It's five six one, I believe. Just curious what placing some of the curves with squares will do. Probably not much. Five six oh. So, try to make this uh, stronger and whatnot. That's why I put a bunch of blocks over here, but uh, I don't really need them. I really hate making these changes though. I mean, I kind of liked it the way it was, but if the repair bay doesn't work, that just screws the whole thing, unfortunately. And yeah, this is probably gonna be about another three, four hour project before it's said and done after I get everything fixed up. Well, I just kind of wanted to show you um, how what I had to do to try to fix this. Um, a lot of this is gonna just take a while now to go through it and try to eliminate more things that look nice. Uh, or just deal with class six, but I mean the original blueprint was a class five and all of a sudden it's a class six. That's not cool, I can't just do that. I gotta try to keep it the same as it was. Rel relatively the same cost and everything else too. And this is just a sum of a gun. Um, if it wasn't so tight to class size, it wouldn't be a big, big issue, but it was. And yeah, 
I'm just, I don't even know what to eliminate. I guess I could get rid of some of these round, round pieces. Replace them with squares. Probably concrete though. I guess, I don't know if this is the best way to go, but what I've been doing with uh, bases that I intend to be cheap is I've been building the floors out of wood, building the walls out of standard concrete. And that is about the cheapest cost I can I can do, sort of all wood. Now wood only has like a, has very low hit points. Uh, concrete is much better. Um, up to 500 on a concrete block, where a wood block, I believe, is up to 100. Oh, and these shouldn't have been wood either. Nope. Um, so, yeah, wood's, wood's very weak. Very cheap, though. Very easy to harvest. Actually, the container storage is um, pretty solid, too. I mean, they're actually hitting um, the same as the concrete for hit points. Well, I will keep at this and uh, try to get an update to the workshop here pretty soon on this, and uh, hopefully with the repair bay fixed and, and decent. Um, base is going to be a little bit bigger, as you can see. Um, I just got to find ways to make it cheaper. And I think I can pull that off. I think there's enough little detail things I could get rid of and replace curves with squares and maybe eliminate some more blocks around this, this ramp area or whatnot. I did some things to just dress it up. Um, I guess I don't need this stuff either. This is just something to add a little detail we don't need detail we need a working repair bay <sighs> Jeez. almost I dropped this just a little bit more and it'll be back to uh, where it was so yeah it's doable I'll get this fixed up, and uh, you guys have a good day. Um, actually, before I go, um, there's something else going on, too. And uh, you know, over to the side over here, um, I was bringing my, in my first, stace, first space station, the Sentinel station, which was enormous and uh, kind of burned me out building it because it had so much interior space. Um, and I'm looking at, you know, my, my modern day uh, or, or things I've changed and the quality again is um, it's not as fancy as it could be. It's pretty, pretty plain and basic. So with Excalibur's new challenge, um, it's to have a like a, uh, a stop point, uh, nice space station to process all your goods, keep you safe. Um, just stock up everything. So I started on that. I'm going with the fairly exotic design I don't know exactly where it's going yet it's not like the Sentinel and it's not like the helix it's something different and I'm not sure what's gonna stay or what's gonna go yet um, but you can kind of see where it's uh, heading I'm trying to plan out a uh, fairly large hangar down in here um, I'm almost thinking about going almost like a hexagon type of landing pads just to be different um, and uh, a big uh, fancy area up top here which I actually think is going to be like a I don't know control center slash lounge or something um, and then down in here like this uh, this is actually a module it's actually a 320k storage bay I might uh, replicate that and copy like more of them or actually move where that is currently and placed them on the sides here and then I was thinking about extending this uh, the main way down and have a solar array that would actually be facing the Sun when you place it um, so opposite of what the helix had its solar set up as so we'll see this was um, just kind of 
I don't know, I, I call it prototyping or kind of like, uh, I'm just, it's just like a concept trying to figure out what, what works, what doesn't work. Um, not sure what class size I want to keep this at. Um, the space station, you know, even the Sentinel here, this is a class 10. The Helix was a class five and it was a stretch to keep it that way. This one, I wanted some, some wiggle room. I wanted to be able to build it out bigger and not be as restrictive. Um, but going to class 10 is gonna also make it not usable on a lot of servers. So I'll have to, I'll have to think about that one. But uh, hey, you all have a good day and uh, hope you enjoyed this little modification. Um, I do wanna get back to that Mac at some point too. I have it sitting where I left it. Um, probably the next part is texturing it, um, but it's not, I guess I'm trying to work on, uh, important things right now. Um, and the Mac is kind of like, a, a hanger decoration more than anything functional. And I think in fact, since I'm going with that idea that I'm not actually not going to have it like where you'd want to use it in the field, um, I might actually convert it to carbon, um, substrate and just put in the bare minimum amount of thrusters I can so you can move it and park it. And that would be about it. And even eliminate the actual guns on it and replace them with deco looking things. Um, so it's really cheap to build. So that's kind of the idea for the Mac. Now I would love to make a real Mac that works. That would be incredible, but the game doesn't do it. So I, I, I can't like, think about something like that so i gotta gotta be realistic about it okay well y'all have a good day see you later